Anderson shortens up to bunt. Here's the pitch. And it's a miss. And now there's nobody covering at third base. And Daniel Descalso is going to end up at third. Anderson had missed the pitch on the bunt. He was covering the bag. So he just scampered over to third. <laughs> Kurt Bavak with way back. Let's try it again. And this time, now Beltre is going to get him in the rundown. Tough play back there, but they got it. That is not necessarily the way you do the rundown play. To first. Chris Johnson's going to step on the bag at first. A run's going to score. Oh, I forgot how many outs there were. Chris thought there were two outs. That ball was hit so hard. One hopper. Shelby thought, okay, well, he's going home. Shelby was looking at home and everybody. 3-6-1 double play chance. The gap. Drive the center. Jones coming in. Jones has it. Cespedes tagging in. <laughs> it's on. That's the second out. That's the second out. Yes, it is. Cespedes has to get in and score. Yeah. So Jason made an out first out of the inning. Well, I think that's the thing is as soon as one guy does it, well, then everybody yeah. stops. I know. I lost his base hit thinking that maybe there were two outs and I'm not going to try to throw. Exit velocity on that single. He threw a little pop up in shallow right. Peterson's out there. Jose has lost count of the outs and he has doubled off first base. And uh, a little distraction there after the hit and the RBI. And Jose gets doubled off. Arietta's got to cover the bag and everybody's safe. That was a tricky play and they've got now a couple of runners caught up at third base. That is Gosselin and he will be out of the inning. They would have had bases. Back to back weekend series. One or two. Kessler thought it was strikeout. Never heard of the strikeout. Well, that's a good stolen base there. That's a stolen base. Stay. Yeah, that's yes. only one ball, two strikes. <laughs> that might be the easiest stolen base he ever had in his career. He plays right along with Ian Kinsler. So was it? I think he was walking back to the dugout, thinking well, the inning was over. He was. He had his helmet off, and actually, Jock Peterson. And, and then realizes, what am I doing? D.L. Puig has it to say, I'll just catch it. That old man isn't going to take. One one has popped up left side. Into foul territory. Two outs. And Hamilton forgot how many outs there were. He's going to get doubled up at first. Pop up hit by Mark Trumbo. And Josh Hamilton is going thinking there was two outs. Forgot how many outs there were at that point. Then the communication be able to get the double play at first. That's a double play. The batter is out. The first base umpire called the infield fly rule, so the batter's out, and Puig is tagged out. It's a double play. Oh, I don't believe what I just I'd rather drop a hand grenade, <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> Popped up. Infield fly. Murphy retreating. They call the infield oh. fly rule, and it drops. The batter is out. The runners can advance. You can tag Puig out. Runner goes from first base and it's hit toward Kinsler. Great play. He's going to throw it home, but the runner not coming and the bases are loaded. Man. Kinsler had the out at first base, but threw. He should have got the out. You saw Iglesias pointing toward first base, but runner on the move and Lori pretty much was standing close to 55 minute rain delay. Push this game back. Hasn't altered their game plan. Hard hit ball. Creedy gets up, but. Can't come down with it. Casey didn't know. He didn't catch it. The throw by Ozuna. Got it. <laughs> oh, yes. It's the first time I've ever seen it. A play by Pablo Ozuna in left field. You won't see that happen here at the big. Tracy now he recognized. Marte takes off. The pitch is upstairs. The throw down a second. Goes into the run and ricochets out of the shallow left center. If the throw's on the bag, they get him. And by play proper protocol, as far as what you're supposed to do, and he looks like he's a little short of the base right there, and still hasn't touched the base. Because that baseball was in front. 
umpire so he'll step off he'll look the runner back throw to second base and he's out he never touched second base here on edges and he'll pop it up they're coming from everywhere in the infield towards the mound who's going to take it nobody nobody's going to take it that's who's going to take it they came from everywhere Ground ball right side. Freeman is going to go to second. And no return throw. And apparently, Ibar was off the bag. Nope, he was. Yeah, Whoa. he was out and got tagged. He was originally safe on that play. And Desperation catch. He can't do that. The ball bounces away. Now here comes the first throw that Manny cuts off. And then Manny throws the bell horn. That's one of the strangest relays I think you'll ever see. None of them were very good. The two run deficit. The center field hit well. Johnny Damon heading back to the wall. Can't get it. Off the wall and off him. The run scores in Bigby and heading for third base is David Newhan. He's going to try. Supported one another. Hit and run. And Mike Moustakis makes a great read. And now have a chance for two and they pull it off but it all saw him and he knew that he was going to be able to get that out but then watch Escobar watch the fine throw back to second look at that off balance running backwards that takes some kind of skill seven for 14 on the road trip both runners take off bouncing ball to second shovel to second safe there out at first sure Gomez sees the out and he's on his way to the dugout as the inning is over with yep. a bat rather than hit bunt or hit the ball with a bat. That's a balk. I'll tell you what, we're something. I think it was the fact that his foot went toward home plate. As Brad Gilbert would say, McGee is running and the throw goes into center field. Garza. First of all, it looked like he balked, but that wasn't called. And then I don't know what kind of throw that was to second. The element of surprise. So Casey, five for five now in stolen bases.